Cookie Run Tower Adventure immediately won me over with its story, visuals, and entertaining gameplay. I went into the beta knowing absolutely nothing about the prior games in the series, and I have to say that I was totally blown away by the game and I cannot wait to push through as much of this adventure as I can before everything gets wiped. The story follows Ginger Brave, who appeared in the previous games and was the very first cookie ever to make it out of the witch's oven. The oven, which was hidden away in a remote part of the tower, has finally been broken into, and the only person to be capable of putting an end to it is the beloved hero, Ginger Brave, who this time around has been labeled the hero with the shining heart. Accompanied by some pure-hearted and lovable friends, they challenged the tower to put a stop to the oven once and for all. There's just so much personality and a lot of charm within this game, even having tons of references like from the movie Shrek and Jinji when he's being interrogated by Lord Farquaad. The transitioning from top-down perspective to a 3D graphic style of gameplay is done really effectively. The UI was very nicely designed, and each of the cookies you can pull from the gacha had their own unique styles which I really appreciated, so you are sure to find somebody that you can really relate to more than the others. Although it does have a gacha, it doesn't really feel forced. The entry bonus and free high tier cookies that you may receive on a regular basis work very well and give you the impression that it is a very generous and rewarding gacha. The lower tier cookies are quite plentiful and still powerful despite the fact that they are not S tier as some of the other epic varieties. You can still make up for it by getting the lower tier cookies to their maximum level and unlocking powerful skills. Both single player and multiplayer modes are available in this game. You have the ability to invite all your friends together and take on challenging bosses, minigames, and of course, to advance through the story at your own leisure. You can even join random players if you just so happen to not have anybody to play with. I don't know what it is, but I've always liked the idea of MapleStory 2, both with the visuals and gameplay, and this has been the closest thing to that game ever since it was shut down. The gameplay was fast and quite fluid, particularly while bossing and testing your luck with the possibility of gaining some powerful equipment to help you on your quest. You should definitely keep your eyes peeled for when this game does come out in the future because it definitely is worth your time to play through the gameplay story and just for the entertainment. If you enjoyed the previous Cookie Run games, which a lot of people appear to have, then I have no doubt in my mind that you will thoroughly enjoy this new take on the series.